Scenes from the National Cryptologic Museum, our Fort Meade Declassified podcast team took a tour, some highlights in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meade Week, I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, more information on this year's installation guide, plus we'll take a look ahead to some big community events coming up. But first, the Fort Meade Garrison Command Team hosted a visit from Mr. Michael Rayhoiser, Director of the Installation Services Office of the Deputy Chief of Staff, G9, Headquarters Department of the Army. The Director is responsible for policies, programs, and resources for housing, environmental, and logistics on Army installations worldwide. His visit to Fort Meade included stops at the Freedom Center Barracks, Housing, the Logistics Readiness Center, and Fort Meade's main fire station. We didn't have time for an interview, but if we get any feedback on the visit, we'll bring it to you right here on Mead Week. Meanwhile, earlier this year, we reported that the annual installation guide has a new publisher, and instead of an annual publication date in January, the new guide will be published twice a year, spring and fall. So now's the time for units and organizations to review the current guide and update any information needed. The current guide can be accessed online on the front page of our website, www.home.army.mil slash mead. You can send any updated information via email to our command information team here at Public Affairs. For the spring edition, we'll need the updates by March 15th. Elsewhere, the Fort Meade Declassified podcast team took a field trip to the National Cryptologic Museum. The museum lies just outside the gates of the National Security Agency. The main purpose of the visit was to record an episode of the Fort Meade Declassified podcast. But first, we took a brief tour in the museum. We'll post a video of the tour when we publish the podcast. Here's a portion with probably the most famous items in the museum, the Enigma code-breaking machines. Enigma are these two machines here, well, many machines that we have along the wall. Yeah. This one, um, as well as the one on the other end in particular, functioning capture German Enigmas that you can code, uh, you know, cipher and decipher on. So when you come, so I know that the museum does a lot of stuff out in the community. So like when we had our Mead Cluster Day, mm -hmm. I don't know if it was this one, but they had a, maybe it was a replica of the Enigma machine that kids could poke around. We have and, and two more that, to, that go out. Yeah. yeah, yes. So yes, this is what the Germans were using to communicate. For the Declassified podcast, we interviewed the director of the museum, Dr. Vince Houghton. I'm not going to tell people to come here instead of going to the Air and Space Museum. That costs multiple billions of dollars and it's an incredible, you go see Apollo 11, great, awesome, go see Apollo 11. <laughs> but if you've got a week here in Washington, or you're spending a couple days in Baltimore, <clears throat> put us on your agenda. Because I, I, I guarantee you'll see things here that you can't see anywhere else. I guarantee that you're gonna get your money's worth since for free. Um, and it, it's just something different to do. Um, you know, and, and, I, and I think that that is our real appeal, is that we're just not an average museum, right? We, we have things on display, number one, that are on here, but we also kind of, if you read our labels, we don't take ourselves all that seriously. We try to have fun with this. I mean, technology itself is somewhat dry, so we try to liven things up a little bit. We're the ones that say, can we find something new and interesting and cool that we can put on display that no one's ever seen before? And we have hundreds of artifacts on display here at the museum, but we have thousands in storage. Time now to take a look ahead at some big events coming up. April is the month of the military child. Each April, the DOD celebrates the more than 1.6 million military children who face unique challenges as a result of their parents' service. Every year, Child and Youth Services at Fort Meade stages a fun fair to highlight services available on post and off. April is also National Child Abuse Prevention Month, and the fun fair offers information and prevention resources. It's a big event, so coordination with dozens of organizations has already begun. For more information, call Army Community Service at 301-677-5590. If you're catching the show before Wednesday, March 6th, you still have time to give the gift of life through the Armed Services Blood Program. The next Fort Meade Blood Drive is on the 6th at McGrill Training Center. It's best to make an appointment. Go to militarydonor.com and use sponsor code FTMead. And finally this week, we close with some important information from the VA. This message is from the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. VA provides free or low-cost health care to eligible veterans and covers everything from preventative to specialty care. No one knows veterans better. Sign up at va.gov, call 1-800-MY-VA-411 or visit your nearest VA medical center. Come see why 90% of patients say they trust VA for their health care. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.